All right, guys, so we're just, uh, as we have time here, uh, redoing this engine, we took the oil pan from the all-wheel drive car. To recap a little bit, this engine is from Porta Part. This is for a two-wheel drive E46. We have a all-wheel drive E46, so oil pan, the oil pickup tube was different. Everything else is all the same. We also took the engine mounts from the all-wheel drive car, which are way longer and way bigger, and affixed those to here. Now, we reinstalled a new uh, oil filter housing gasket, a new water pump. We have all the pulleys, a new thermostat, and I bought the master rebuild kit for the Vanos. Now, to recap on the Vanos, we're gonna show you to rebuild that here in just a second. I've never had one of these that had a Vanos rattle that new O-rings didn't fix, never. I probably rebuilt, I don't know how many Vanos, a lot, a lot, lot. And if you're having rattling problems, usually it's something else, to be totally honest with you. Um, but we pulled everything off, all the 10 mils. We did that in the last video, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna recap that. If you take only the Vanos unit off and you don't mess with anything and you don't turn the engine over, you don't mess with the timing or nothing. You don't have to do any of that stuff. Um, so let's go over here. The place that the state of this place is absolutely level 10 train wreck. So we're over here. Um, doing the vanos, but we do have all of the parts in for the E46, control arms, valve cover. We have a brand new valve cover right here. Oh, in your shot. This is aftermarket valve cover. It's about a little less than hundred bucks. We've had really good luck with those. They come with the gaskets and everything already pre-assembled. Both valve covers on both these engines had hairline cracks, which is the way every E46 is going to be, especially over hundred K miles. So, there is that. Starting off, this one does not have a spring, if I remember right. This one does have a spring holding it up, so we're just gonna go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna turn up this light a little bit. I think it's a little bit dark. Yep, I'll go up here, don't move, don't move. There you go. All right, so that reveals a few things in here. We should have a gasket, yes sir. A metal gasket, which is right there. Most of the time you don't actually replace those, uh, but this actually came in the kit, I believe. And here's the Vanos O-rings. And you can see here, it's totally flat and it's easy, I just pulled it out of there. There is no way that's sealing anymore, and when it doesn't seal anymore, there's no way that's advancing the timing. So last video, you guys are asking me, should I do the Vanos rings at 190,000 miles? Well, hell yeah, you should. It's 30 bucks, it's pretty easy to put on. You must remove the valve cover to take this off, and we're gonna show you right now how to rebuild it. It's super, super easy, and let me grab the kit. And we do need a razor knife yet, and we're going to disassemble this. So here's the kit. This has, that's the fancy kit. You got new bolts. It has new little plugs that go in when you reinstall the vandals. There's no O-rings, O-rings are in here. This is all Viton O-rings. And if I could find a link again where I bought this, I'll send it, but I think it was off eBay. It's hard to do the links on eBay, but here we have a gasket for this side, a gasket for that side. Then this is the gasket when you bolt the new van or the rebuilt van unit back on the block. This meets, or not the block, the head. Then you gotta put a little dots of silicone up here in the corners of that so it doesn't seep. And I'm going to set, I'll set it all over here. So usually what you gotta do if your rings aren't that bad, there's actually a double ring. The outer rings and then the inner ring. Sometimes you get in here like this and pull them out, but you can see it's way too hard. So you have to go in here and try not to cut anything. And you're just gonna cut through without slipping off. That harder outer ring like so. 
And usually, if it's not totally screwed, you go in there with the pick and pull out the inner ring. But since it's hard as a freaking rock, watch your fingers. Damn, that thing's hard. You're trying essentially just to cut through. And then pry it up out of there, but you're trying not to scratch anything, but it's kind of difficult. And that is supposed to be a very soft and cushy ring. And that's total, total garbage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, wipe all the oil out of it like so. And while we're here, let's go ahead and cut the bigger one out. It's using the tip of a carpenter's knife. That one comes right out. The inner one. Being very careful not to scratch anything or damage anything. But it's very soft one. Even that pick, the back of that pick will gouge it up a little bit. Just trying to do everything I can not to hurt it. There's that. Take a rag and just kind of wipe it all out. And I'll show you, we barely scuffed it. See right there? But actually it makes no difference at all. And I'll show you why. It's just very soft aluminum. It takes almost no effort to gouge that up. You pretty much can't get those out without doing that just a little bit. So there's the softer inner Viton ring. And this Viton, this brown, so it'll never go out. It'll never decay under the heat. There's the outer ring. There is the Vita ring for the smaller piece and that for the bigger one. And we're just gonna grab this. We're just gonna chase it on in there like that. Helps when your gloves aren't all freaking greasy. And we're just gonna go like this. We're just gonna pull it up and over like so. And that's it. And now it's sticking out past that. So I'll wipe that out and when we put it in there, it will seal everything up really good. The smaller one's always a little bit harder to get in on the hard ring. And that. And you think it's gonna break it, but it won't because it's new, right? All right, so we're gonna take this, wipe that out. There's still just a tiny bit of oil down in here. We're gonna wipe that on there. So when you reinsert that, it's not gonna bind that up or do anything weird. And now, I'm gonna get in there straight. Just like that, we're gonna wipe all this off really good. 
Let's go ahead and pull this. Usually these fall off of here. Like I said, usually the kits don't come with this. But since we got it, we'll go ahead and put it on. So we're going to go back on. Let's pick a little bit of this grease. I have this lube ball. It uh, works really good on a lot of this stuff. And we'll put a little bit on that piston just so it doesn't bind up anything and cause any major issues. And then this goes on here like that. And this side's pretty easy. Uh, we'll show you in two seconds here the other side is a little trickier because that spring. A lot of people struggle with rebuilding this because getting the oil rings out, it's a, they really have issue with that. I'm just going just till it stops. Every 10 mil bolt on every car, the torque is about seven foot pounds. So in typical old man fashion, I know this is about where that's at. I'm choked up on this wrench. You could also use a quarter inch drive wrench and tighten these in a cross pattern. It's gonna squish that gasket down. You can see these gaskets have like a ripple, like a ledge on them. And I'll squish that down and seal that. Now, that side's done, we got one more side to do. This is where it gets complex a little bit. Kind of need three or four hands to do it, but we're just gonna break them loose. Oh boy. All right, what I'm gonna do here Let's take two out across from each other. Two's gonna hold it. Take my palm and pressing it down like so. And there's that. You put it back in. If you drop it, the little part goes up like so. It only sits in there one way. This is gonna separate like that. And that allows you to get to the other side. There's a double hole here, double hole there. It goes right like that. You pretty much can't, well, you can mess it up. It's not easy to mess it up, all right? So by holding this with that, we're gonna take our knife, go in here and cut the first ring. If you try to go in here and pry this out with this, you're gonna destroy it. You're gonna destroy the aluminum. See how hard, <laughs> how hard that is? Was trying to not derange anything too bad, but you could definitely see there it is. And this is a soft ring. How about you? I'm pretty sure that's not going to work out. Get everything all greasy. that one out. I'm going to cut this one out. Your blade should never actually touch the aluminum really. And 
and there it is. We're gonna take the corner of our rag, we're gonna go down, wipe the groove out all the way around. Okay, like that. It's messy. We're going to pull that out. We're gonna do those here in one second, little ones. Over two big rings or two little rings. Also, if you're wearing gloves, be careful you don't rip your glove off and a bit stuck in there because that's going to derange everything with the timing advance. We'll hook it under there and we're just going to push it around. So it's so greasy, it's hard to do that. If you're really lucky, you'll slip off and stab yourself with the finger with your pick. Next up is a soft brown ring. Goes in first like so. This one goes in like that. Man, it's a little bit tricky. All the way in, it's 99% in, it just pops out, right? Use the back of that, push that brown ring down. Whoa. Pop it right in, make sure it's in all the way around. There we go. Now we're gonna take this out. We're gonna wipe in here. Leave a little bit of oil on the bottom of it. We'll use that to go around this. What you don't want to do when you first start it is to not lube these and then they're in and out and it grabs and binds it and rolls that seal over because that is no fun at all. Put that back in there like so. Before we do that, let's go ahead and pull this off. Like so. It's kind of a longer video, guys, but it's showing you every single step, every detail of every step, and that's what you need to do this job. Just like that. And this goes in here like that. And this is gonna go double hole to the double hole. that one in, use your palm, get the one across from it started. There it is. Get down there. It helps if your one hand strong enough to push it all down. Look at the look at that. Reason these cheap ass gloves, because the case of them is like 30 bucks. So we could just take them off, wear them five minutes, and throw them away. If we gotta touch the camera, gotta touch anything else, it works so much better. And trying to keep on a Spencer rubber gloves all day. Okay, that part is finished. The next up, so <clears throat> Jesus, greasy. Next up are these. So we have the old ones of these over there on the cart. So we have new ones. All we're gonna do is slip in 
that like so. Another one like this. And these little seal caps, after you put these bolts in here to screw the centers to the cams, which are reverse thread, then you pop these little things in and then you put the, the big screw caps in the end and you're done. Uh, overall, not bad. Okay, so it fitted the new gasket. Um, on these, you have to put the left side, which is the passenger side on first and chase it down. Then it's hard to go over the peg. You get a socket that's a little bit bigger than the peg, not this one, like a 13 mil and tap it in. And that's how you set the gasket on there. Uh, now, all this, remember, we did not turned over the engine, not done anything. If we turn the engine right now, we have to redo all the timing. So you don't want to do that. We're going to set this back on all the pegs like so. Oh, see, I'm already messing up. The first thing we have to do is get our sealer. And all of our regular sealer is all dried up. This is Loctite. We're using the Porsche 5900. This stuff is crazy, crazy strong sealer. Well, all we're going to do, this will actually eat my gloves too. Just a little bit. So we don't have to take a sledgehammer and try to get this thing off next time. And then what we're going to do here, so we're just going to take a little bit on here. And then we should have actually done this before we put the gasket on. We should have done. I'm just going to put just a tiny bit down the crease and a little bit on here. Let me get the rag and wipe this off my finger. Oh my God. Oh my God. And then a little smudge on the front of it. And then after we squish it on there, we're gonna wipe any excess off the top of it. And this isn't mandatory, but it will make it seep just a little bit if you don't do this. And wipe that back off. It's actually eating through my glove. We'll act like it's not. So we put just a little tiny bit of that on each side. And then, of course, it's going to pour oil out. We're going to go get these, which have my hand oil go, all the 10 mils, and there's a 13 mil bolt. And we're going to start all those. And we're essentially going to torque all these down. this as we're using the power ratchet we gotta start them with our fingers Those are 13 stud. We're gonna grab this. Go from the middle out. We're just gonna give her the old snug up with that. Nothing crazy. I'll grab a 13, tighten that down, and then we'll wipe off anything that squishes out. See it? Right here on top. Well, that's close. A little bit of that. Wipe this side off too, it's the same way. And that is on there, and then we're gonna grab our bolts. I'm gonna decide not to use those bolts came with the kit. 
because they're bolts that we have with it's totally totally good to go and i'm afraid that the ones that came with it are like off brand so to be honest i'm a little scared of those and lefty tight righty loosen because they're backwards bass backwards Like not gonna tighten. <laughs> Why would you, right? Okay, this one's good. Let's go ahead and get that the old. Why would you work right, right at this point? Weird. Never had that one before. Oh, I know exactly what it is. I gotta push it in. See the piston was out. This is not the spring one. Lefty tidy. Not too much. I think there's what, 25 foot pounds, somewhere in there. Uh, you can just kind of tell. So that's all done. Now we have to go grab our little pegs, little plugs. We're gonna pop these in. We have a small pair of noodles with a bent tip. So I'm like, for whatever reason, that works the best. So there again, I'm not super, I'm gonna get a little bit of oil here. Put on that ring. I'm not super impressed with these kits that give you the little pop-in pieces extra because if they're aftermarket, they seem like they don't fit very good. Last thing you want that crap falling out. We're gonna give a little, little tug and make sure everything is in good. There's no issue. And then that kit also gave us. I'll grab them real quick. It'll be right there. It gave us most of the stuff. It gave us these two, which goes on this bolt right here, which is a 19 for that. Let me grab that. I'll take both old ones off. But it did not give us our seals for the big ones. Okay, so what it did not give us was new rings for this. And look at the danger level that that's balanced on top of that engine. If that falls off in there, we probably have to get a different engine. And these other ones can be very hard to get off, but they must be replaced. So if they don't, it's gonna cause a problem I'm trying to thread it off of there. What a pain in the butt. It's almost like somebody's replaced these and didn't do it correctly with the right one. And now they're ultra hard to get off. It should not be that way. We just did the first one. The second one, we're just grabbing a pair of channel locks on the ring because you can't pull it off or it's going to take your little impact. Of course, that didn't work perfect. You turn the camera on, this one just totally just deranged itself. Essentially what you do is hold that ring and it takes it right off of there real easy. And we're going to put a new ring back on it. 
perhaps. Of course, everything's being a pain in the butt. Give her a little torque there. Another one. And that's it. We're all done. That is the whole Vanos rebuild step by step, every single part of it. We did not film taking it off, but we started putting it back on. So now you know where all the bolts are. That's going to be it. We'll see you very soon with another video.